Hey guys, it's Saturday, March 9th. I'm about to head to my grandma's house as usual to do my laundry. I guess not as usual. Last week I went to my mom's house. Didn't film it though. Um, so I had something to say, but I forgot. Oh, it was. I was gonna say that I've been filming the past couple like two, no, two or three weeks ago, but they never really came to be anything. Like I would film at my grandparents' house or film me going to my grandparents' house, and then I would just stop filming as soon as I got home. I would forget, or nothing exciting would happen. So. Um, that's a little fun hair sticking out. So I would, I'd be like, okay, I'll, I'll pick this vlog up next week, and then I would, but that wouldn't really become a vlog, so I just scrapped those videos. Nothing really exciting happened. I mean, I guess we did go out to dinner for my grandpa's birthday in the beginning of March. We did. We went to some place in Racine. I'm trying to like fix my hair, but I can't, so just deal, oh, just deal with it. Um, and then one weekend, I just went to my grandma's house, we did laundry, and then we went to like Hobby Lobby because she's trying to fix this scarecrow, um, this Halloween decoration scarecrow. All of his hair came off. My cousin loved it a little bit too much, so he like ripped the hair out. So she's trying to find new yarn to make a new wig for it. So we'll see if she did that yet. And um, also exciting news, I found somewhere to live in Indiana. Well, actually my boyfriend did. <laughs> I. Um, but we have somewhere. And we've been like, applying and calling like crazy. It's been like so stressful. Um, and then he toured like two places. And then the second one, the first one, it was not it. I felt so bad. I had to veto it. Like he was all ready to sign the paperwork. And I was like, that's not gonna work. It's so small, but not have fit to both of us. I stand by that statement. I feel really bad I had to veto it, but I did. And then the second place, we fell in love with it. And we wanted it so bad. We were like, <laughs> telling the universe to give it to us and it happened it did um we just found out yesterday i was like i'm still in shock I, like i'm telling you this but i don't really believe it but i mean it better be true because i already told my mom and i told my landlord so um at the end of may is when i told them i'll be leaving um i think um i'm moving on my birthday <laughs> on may 28th is when i'm gonna be like moving to indiana so what the heck i'll tell you more details i mean I don't really have that many more details, but I'll talk to you more about it later. I have to go to my grandma's house now, like I said. Um, last, the last time I went to my grandma's house, the parking lot where I parked my car, it just like swarmed with people and cars as soon as I got into mine. So I could not back out. I was sitting there forever. So I really don't want to be trapped again. So I'm going to leave while the coast is clear. So I'll see you there. Okay, I'm here at my grandparents now. I just unpacked the bag of stuff I brought, put my laundry in the machine. And I'm going to make, it's only 9.50, but I'm going to make a breakfast slash lunch, a brunch if you will, of some beans, some baked beans, and toast. And now they're talking in the other room. Um, my grandma's trying to clean the carpet because I think my grandpa spilled a spot on it. Uh-oh. Okay, here's the food I have. I have these baked beans in a bowl. I have this bread, the last two pieces of bread um, from the loaf I made. And I brought some iced coffee to go. And grandma's vacuuming. Okay, you guys, I've been cutting some greens. I got them in the fridge. I cut so many. I guess I'll just show you so you're not just looking at my face. Here's grandma's fridge, fridge tour. Can you see it? These are my greens right in here. I had three of them and I turned them into two. Um, and now I'm gonna scan some coupons because you know I like to scan coupons to get some points. Grandma saves them for me. And then we're also just talking about like, grandma's mocking me, I think. <laughs> She's going, um, I was asking them questions like surveys, like what's your favorite plant? What's your favorite animal? Grandma likes reindeers and polar bears <laughs> she's mouthing it to me and um over a pet she would like to have a dog i would like to have a dog too and i like monkeys and grandpa likes dogs and what was his wild animal i don't remember deer and something else because he said something else too i don't remember what it was but he did not like the attacking yeah dolphins he did not like the attacking animals <laughs> um so yeah here's the coupons i'm gonna scan up and then we're also talking about my brother Kyle's graduation, which is gonna be in May. So we're just like discussing how that's gonna work. So that's what's up. Okay, just an update. I finished scanning all the receipts. There was a lot. I had like 9,700 points prior and afterwards I had 10,700 points. So I can cash out now. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> I love watching the faces grandma makes behind the camera. <laughs> it's, she's just like, <laughs> so funny. Okay, my laundry's done. My stuff is in the bag, and now I'm heading home. Okay, I got home a little bit ago, and things are a little bit chaotic right now. Um, I tried to put my laundry away, but then I started like reorganizing, and I was like, well, let's just try to list some furniture right now, the things that I don't use, like my kitchen table, to see if they'll sell. Someone bought that. It's my little bookshelf I used to have in the kitchen. It was so dusty, I cleaned it off. So there it is, they're coming right now. I wanna go put it in the hallway so it's ready for when they get here. But, I had 
stuff on it, right? <laughs> so here it is, here's some of it. Like these fake little plant things. My stand mixer, now I have it on a chair there because I have three chairs and I don't sit at all of them because it's just me. Um, so, <sighs> cool. Hope I don't get robbed. I always get so nervous about Facebook Marketplace, but I've only had good experiences. Um, still can't help but to be a little bit wary. So I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, I just sold it. I didn't fall down the stairs. I didn't get robbed technically. Oh, I'm <laughs> not even filming myself. Um, but also kind of a little bit I did. But this is just what always happens on Facebook Marketplace. They'll be like, I don't have enough money. I have to go to the bank. This has happened to me before. And I know this, um, I don't know if it's a scam or just like, she's trying to, you know, <laughs> get it for less. But it's fine. She's like, I only have 11. I have to go get $4. I was like, girly, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. So I got $11 for that bookshelf. Totally happy with it. Totally fine. So I got one thing off my list. Okay, so I made this for dinner. It's gonna go in my salad um, today and tomorrow. And then these two, I always, I haven't had them in a long time, but when I would have them like before work, I would combine a scoop of each and they're about halfway full. So I think I'm just gonna combine these together. That'll save space. I put my, this in there, but I think I'm gonna have this one tomorrow. So I'm gonna leave this out. And I don't know about these fake plants. Like I don't know if I can see myself bringing them with me, but these plants, I would keep the pots because they're just like that. But I don't know yet. Like this fake plant is cute. I like it. Um, but do I like all of them? And they all come together. They're not a set or anything, but I got them all from Target a while ago. And like they're all matching. So should I just keep all of them and then get rid of them like once I move? Because it's not like they're heavy. They're light. It's not going to take up a lot of space. So maybe I will just keep them. Okay, here's my huge salad in this yellow bowl. I just had a bite. I'm not sure how I feel about one of the greens that I mixed in. I did a spring mix bag or whatever um, container. They're actually right here. So there's my spring mix. And then I did spinach. And then I also did one that was like a, an herbs mix. And I don't know how I feel about the herbs that were in that mix, but I'm still gonna eat this. I'm really hungry. And I haven't had this salad in a really long time. Good morning, I haven't showered yet, so I look kind of like a mess. Um, I'm gonna do some cleaning today, so I'm not gonna shower. Hope my eyebrows are okay. Whenever I wake up in the morning, my eyebrows are like ev in every direction. I have to like comb them down. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to vlog a little bit because I didn't really end yesterday's vlog. I made some whipped coffee, but I'm thinking my ratios are a little bit off. Look how much milk there is compared to the coffee. Granted, I'm still gonna mix it in, um, but if there does end up being too much milk, I'll just pour some of my Starbucks over this. Um, the Starbucks in the refrigerator, the brew thing. But sadly, I uh, I had to get dark roast, and you guys know I'm a blonde lover when it comes to Starbucks, but they didn't have any blonde, they didn't have any medium, so I had to go with dark. Um, so I'm gonna have to really dilute that this week with milk, but good thing there's already a lot of milk in here. Anyways, I wanna mix this up a little bit with a straw, and then I'll do a taste test. All right, I mixed it a little bit, and you can see it's kind of sticking to the sides, but it definitely got a little bit less milky colored. So let's try this. Okay, here we go. It's not good. I was really looking forward to like the whole act of doing this, but I think usually I used to put a whole lot more sugar in there. It calls for two tablespoons of the um, espresso powder thing, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of water. <laughs> I probably used to put a lot more sugar in there. I guess the aftertaste isn't so bad. Let's have another one. I don't think it... Hmm. I don't think it really needs any more um, coffee. I almost said milk. I think the ratio is alright. But um, I made a bagel in the toaster oven. I'm going to have it with some butter and this. And then I do have to clean. But I think first I'm going to make a black bean burger on the stove that I'm going to have during the week. Just so I can get the messy cleaning out of the way before I have to... Messy cooking out of the way before I have to clean. Okay, that's what I'll do. So I have my toolbox out that I don't get to use very often, but I'm so glad that I have. And I'm trying to make this whisk go lower. I'm trying to like, I'm, I watched a YouTube video on it. There's my coffee that I have. And I watched this a long time ago because I also tried to lower this a long time ago because while I was whipping this coffee, I remembered this whisk doesn't hit the bottom of the bowl. So that's annoying. So it says, Go right to lower, left to raise, higher. And I've been doing it a little bit at a time. Um, let me flip this neck back to show you what I mean. I might need both hands for this. There we go, never mind. <laughs> Great angles. This screw right here, I'm turning a little bit at a time to the right, and I disconnect this while I do it, and then I put it back in, and there's a quarter in here. So that's in there because we want it to move. 
We want this to be able to move that, and right now it's not. I'll show you. One second. So as you can see, I have it on low so you can actually hear me. As you can see, it's not moving the quarter around in the bowl, and it should. So this can like scrape the ingredients on the bottom, and I'm trying to lower this. So that can happen. Okay, I'll get back to you when I actually fix it. I've been lowering it a little and a little at a time. Me again. I just watched his video to see how his coin looks in there. Can you see it? It's at the bottom right there. Um, how it's supposed to look when it hits it. And apparently it's just supposed to hit a little bit. I thought it was supposed to like move it all the way around the bowl. So I just raised this back up a little bit. It's at a good height now. So now I'm going to go wash the bowl again. I just used it and washed it. But since I had a coin in there, I'm going to wash it again. And then put all my stuff away. And I did it okay it's a couple hours later i've showered i probably don't look like it probably don't look any different my hair is in a clip now you can't see can you see it i don't know what you can see <laughs> um instead of in a ponytail so i look different i'm different my hair is drying okay um i cleaned everything my floors are dry i just finished putting away some dishes that were drying when i was cleaning and now i'm getting my coffee ready for tomorrow so do you want to know what i do every time i steep my own coffee in one jar like this and then i split it into two jars, which I'm doing in the sink. Normally I'll do it on the counter, but I just clean those. So I'm doing it in the sink. So I brew my own, steep my own, I do it cold, um, of this. Can't reach. It is beans. Blonde roast, my favorite. I don't know why I do this. Like, I don't think I'm even really saving money, but I do it like this. And then I'll split it with a bottle of <laughs> this. I'll pour this into both of them down there. And then I'll add milk, and then, <laughs> so this I can just drink from like like this from home, but I like to take it to work, so then I'll refill it back into here. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. <laughs> I don't know why I do it like this. I should just do it, I should calculate what's cheaper, to buy it like that already from the grocery store, but then I have to buy like three bottles for the week, or to only do that, because I don't think it's like saving me any money to do both. <laughs> I don't know why I do it like that, but I do. Also. I love that in the blonde roast, um, and this is the blonde roast, so ideally it should taste the same when I do it myself, but it doesn't. This tastes so much better, and I don't know why. Also, remember how I said this one's dark roast, and I've never had it before? I just took a little sipsies. It's not bad. I thought it was going to be way too dark for me, but it's not. If it's good enough for me to take a little sipsies without any milk on it, then I think I'll be fine. I'll let you know how it tastes once it's all come together with the milk, though. Um, also, I sold something else on Facebook Marketplace. I sold one of my kitchen things, which I didn't really consider selling before, but here it is. It's my dehydrator. I got it a couple years ago, and I've only used it like maybe four times total. Definitely only used it one time since moving into this apartment in 2019, so I couldn't justify taking it with me. And plus, it's not that expensive, so if I ever do want to buy it like again in my life, I can't believe I look like this on YouTube. If I ever do want to buy it again in my life, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like under... $50 so I can afford that but I don't use it. it takes up a lot of space I already have a ton of kitchen gadgets so this one I'm parting with so I'm selling it for I think $15 and he should be here um I thought I got a message from him it's just Dustin I mean it's just Dustin it's Dustin um he should be here in a minute now so that's what I'm waiting on I'll let you know how that goes Okay, some guy just came and picked up the dehydrator. It went good. And um, I'm still might be selling some more stuff tonight. It depends on if they get back to me <laughs> or if they want to do it a different day. Uh, but here we have my coffee, like I said. I poured it all in here. There's milk in here, so see, it's light. Now we're gonna have a taste. I've already tried it, but we're gonna do it on camera. I figure, I'm like ducking <laughs> to get in shot. Tastes like coffee, baby. Okay, I'm gonna end the video now. I hardly remember what I filmed today. I filmed a lot sporadically, or I hope this is long enough to be video. I know I didn't even really talk too much. I don't think, I've man, my memory's not good <laughs> about my whole moving thing, but I don't know if I said this yet. I am moving May 28th on my birthday. Dustin is gonna be moving before me. I think at like around April 20th or on April 20th on or around that day I feel like once he actually moves into the place and he starts sending me like pictures of him at the place because I've seen the place I've seen a video of it but once like he and his stuff move in there it'll feel a lot more real to me um it, right now it's just something that is happening and I'm like preparing for but also it doesn't feel like real <laughs> so once 
he moves in i think it'll really sink in for me um but yeah and also what's crazy is that the week before i move um is gonna be my brother's kyle his graduation from college so that's really exciting um i was thinking i can do like a family dinner or something for myself for like my birthday the week before um i move since i'm moving on my birthday which is Saturday, May 28th, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I wanna do it that weekend of my brother's graduation. So maybe I'll do it like two weeks before my birthday, but that'd be kind of weird. I don't know, we'll see. I'll say we'll see when it gets closer, but it's like in a month and a half. And then I think um, I'm gonna put in my like two weeks notice for my job in probably the beginning of May. I think the first Monday in May is May 2nd. So that's probably when I'll float it by my boss, so. Crazy stuff happening. I will definitely keep you in the loop. I usually, um, my excuse for not vlogging a lot recently has been like, oh, nothing's happening. I just keep filming the same thing over and over again. But obviously, life's gonna get pretty exciting pretty soon. And I also wanna document as much as I can while I'm still here in Kenosha in this apartment. Maybe I'll do some fun stuff. Like, hopefully the weather gets nice like within the next month so I can like take a walk downtown or something and film it, you know, for like a keepsake. Um, Maybe on like my last day of work, I'll like bring my camera. I don't know, it might be like a little bit sneaky and scandalous, um, but we'll see. We'll see what I can get away with. But um, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, bye.